Welcome to Learning in Limestone. Our goal, success for all. If zombies were to attack, where would we run? Where would we regroup? And where would we rebuild our lives? These questions, key to survival, will be answered today at Joyceville Public School. Um, so like right now, the zombies are taking over. There, there's gonna be an outbreak of a zombie apocalypse, so we need a, at least a little bit of energy. If we were to get overrun, we'd have no, if we were to just hide in one building, they could just come and get us because there's no walls around just a specific building. But in the safety section, there is. And if we were to get overrun, we'd have a section to go to. Zombie-based learning, or ZBL, has students learning geography through the scenario of surviving a zombie apocalypse. Tell me how you uncovered the dangerously overlooked fact that geography skills could save us from the zombie apocalypse. Uh, well, <clears throat> as a teacher, you're always looking for interesting ways to present curriculum, right? So sometimes geography can get a little dry. So we wanted to, to let the students know that armed with knowledge, they could survive anything, right? Um, so we tried, to find, uh, we tried to find a way to present kind of what the curriculum expectations were for geography through the lens of a zombie apocalypse, because let's be honest, that's interesting stuff, right? Right, yeah. Um, it's all over TV these days, and um, myself and my colleague, Ms. Diamond, had a great time presenting this and looking at this issue through that lens. Like firewood supply, like, right here. First, we did an assignment about where we could predict the next zombie attacks would be and how they would spread. We had to draw out a map and um, kind of describe what kind of maps would be used to escape that area and use longitude and latitude on a pinpoint location of where it could go. So far, our settlement, I think uh, we've got a pretty good settlement built. We've got town hall, uh, crops being built, we've got lots of timber, and we've got uh, lots of water to access, fresh water. Um, and then we've got a lockdown area that if we were to ever be attacked, no one could get to. Like, ever, no, no zombies, sorry, could get to. Oh, have you guys thought about this as just a project or as if this was real life? Oh, uh, for, for most of us, I think we've been thinking about this through the lens of it's actually happening. Right. And that's, that's made a big difference on how we play it, how it play out. So we've, we've been looking at it as if it's happening. So we're taking in all these geographical concepts through looking at maps and natural disasters and access to natural resources in order to figure out uh, where we would want to set up a permanent settlement to withstand the zombie apocalypse. Is this project more fun than just learning geography normally, like by a textbook or something like uh, that? Yes, very much. Uh, I find, I know a lot of us, it's very interesting to keep learning it instead of like just a textbook and a test. Today we learned how to survive a zombie apocalypse. We learned where to hide, where to go, and what to do. Thanks to these zombieology classes, we're now prepared.